carrying the Cygnus cargo craft to the International Space Station has been scrubbed. Uh, disable local launch enable button at the field. The uh, count uh, was held at the T minus 12 minute mark Broken. so that the range could evaluate a boat uh, in the uh, range safety area. Launch enable. The final poll to proceed was taken and the countdown resumed at uh, 5.43 p.m. Central, 6.43 Eastern, but just two minutes later, uh, a final check of the range still showed it to be red, and so the launch has been scrubbed for today. Okay, copy that, Ops 1. That's uh, not required then. Tell, go ahead. Uh, yeah, tell is armed. Uh, rapid retract is armed. Okay, roger that. Order in the board taping at this time, uh, Tell. No, copy that. I just wanted to pass along that their army was complete. Okay, understood. And Ops 1 Alpha 8 is not required for today's operation. And Electrical 1, can you verify vehicle ODMs indicate safe? Vehicle ODM. The uh, Antares launch vehicle and the Cygnus cargo craft were in perfect shape throughout the course of the countdown. No issues there. Uh, this was strictly a range issue uh, this evening uh, that uh, terminated the count uh, just 10 minutes uh, before the scheduled liftoff time at the end of a 10 minute window. Again, tonight's launch scrubbed uh, because. Uh, of a boat in the range safety area, a downrange to the southeast of the Wall of Slight facility. And is complete. Roger that. Check out the 12 complete. And Ops 2, step out the 13. You go to enable, uh, excuse me, uh, that's not required. Uh, we did not disable those. Uh, Assuming a 24-hour uh, scrub turnaround, uh, which would appear to be the case, and we'll have to stand by for further word on that. Alpha 3 not required for today's operation. Tuesday's uh, launch time uh, would be 5.19 p.m. Central Time, 6.19 p.m. Eastern Time, with NASA TV coverage beginning at 4.30 Central Time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. They are 